Hi everyone, my name is Christian Andrade, Unreal Engine Evangelist for Latin America. In December of the last year, a project named Mirka Demo was published on the marketplace for free. This short film, rendered entirely in Unreal Engine, was made by Weta Digital, built to explore the highest level of quality possible while maintaining as fast a rendering speed in real time. Now I want to take advantage of the fact that we can access to this project and try controlling it using another product that we have published, the Live Link Face app. The latest models of Apple's iPhones and iPads offer facial recognition and motion tracking capabilities. It captures the position, topology and movements of over 50 facial muscles. If your iPhone contains the true deep camera and it's compatible with ARKit, you can use the Lightning Face to control complex facial animations on 3D characters inside Unreal Engine. Here I have previously downloaded the Meerkat demo and I have already opened it in the editor. The first things we must to do is install the necessary plugins. We need to activate Apple ARKit, Apple ARKit Face Support, Lightlink, and, and Lightlink Curve Debug UI. I should point out that this project was not created to be animated using facial motion capture systems, but as a short film using Sequencer. Therefore, we will have to improvise some things in order to make it work properly. For example, this project doesn't have an animation blueprint, so we have to create one that controls the animation of the Mirkat mesh. For this, we just need to right-click the skeletal mesh in our content browser and choose the option Create an in blueprint. Now let's go to the Meerkat Actor Blueprint and replace the animation mode and the anim class associated uh, with the skeletal mesh. In the animation mode, let's choose Use Animation Blueprint and for anim class, look the animation blueprint that we just created. Once done, let's go back to the map editor for a moment. In the menu bar, we will click on Windows and choose Live Link. This opens the Live Link connection window. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. If your app is properly configured and your iPhone and computer connected to the same IP address, you should be able to see that Unreal is receiving data from the device. Otherwise, it will be blank. The green dot indicates that the frame transmission is consistent and successful. Now let's open the Anim Blueprint. Now we can add the Lightning Post node uh, to the Anim Graph. This node is used for transmitting the animation data to the final post. In the drop-down menu, select the Lightning connection that comes from your phone. If it appears empty, it is because the Lightning is not streaming yet. Here we have our first troubleshot. This mesh was not intended to be used with facial mockup. ARKit requires all the names of the blend shapes to match with the 51 names that the Apple ARKit SDK detects. Fortunately, Unreal allowed us to create remap asset to solve this. In order to create a remap asset, we must first go to the content browser and right click to open the context menu. We then can press the option Blueprint class, All classes, and create a new Lightlink Remap Asset. Open this asset and we are going to overwrite the GetRemappedCurveName function. This output pin returns the name of the blend shape curves according to the ARKit configuration. And with this input pin, we are telling Unreal to overwrite uh, with this name of the mesh. Now, how are we going to remap several curves? The most efficient way is to use a switch node. If we want to know the names of the curves of our Meerkat mesh, we only need to open the skeletal mesh and explore each blend shape one by one. Here we have a new problem. This mesh was not made to be controlled with a face mockup system, so it is far for ARKit's recommendations. This type of problem can also be common when working with other marketplace character assets. 
it is possible that some assets even have a very small number of move targets. Some may not even have muscle movements assigned as blend shapes, but to expressions such as joy, sadness, or anger, uh, to name a few. In any case, this problem also can be addressed in a creative way. It's just a matter of identifying which expression of the Meerkat most closely resembles uh, those of the AR kits. And this is where the Lightning Curve Debug UI plugin comes handy. This plugin gives us access to a node called uh, Display Lightning Debugger. We are only going to connect it to the Begin Play node on the animation blueprint, and we are going to press play. This will automatically open a tab where we can see the complete list of the 51 curves um, that are transmitted via Lightning from your device. And this also shows the value of each of these curves in real time. I'm going to drag and drop this window here into the skeletal mesh editor of the Meerkat. This will help us um, to compare which bar is one that grows the most uh, when we try to imitate one of the Meerkat expressions. Let's see an example. Let's focus on the noose. If we try to imitate the movement uh, it makes when modify the value between the 0 to 1 on the noose wrinkler curve, We can see that amongst the curves associated with the noose that react are most are noose sneer left and noose sneer right. This happens because ARKit detects them separately, both on the left and the right side of the face. The curves of the meerkat are more limited. Only a single curve is assigned for both sides of the noose. So, adding either of the two ARKit's curves to the remap asset is enough. In this case, I will add noose sneer right and assign it uh, to the noose wrinkler curve. Be very careful to write them correctly. For the sake of this video, I have already taken 14 curves and added them to the remap asset. Feel free to try using other curves if you like, or try to connect some of these to curves like the movement of the ears. I will stop for a moment on this screen so you can pause and copy it. Are you ready? Let's continue. Now that we have the remap asset ready, we only need to add it to our Lightning Post node. In the details panel, we simply click on the node and replace the retarget asset with the one we just created. We compile and we are now ready to test it. Let's verify again if the panel of my Lightning connection has the green dot, which indicates that it's receiving data correctly. And since I no longer need the debug UI plugin, I'm going to delete the display Lightning debugger node. And voila, it's alive and looks great. At this point, we have control over the blend shape of the Meerkat and we have connected some of these to the curves of the native poses that we transmit from the Apple AR Kit SDK. However, we cannot yet move other elements that depend on the rotation of the bones of the skeletal mesh. In this case, the neck, eyeballs, and teeth. If you check the documentation of the lifelink face or the face AR sample, you will find that we recommend using a pose asset to enable transferring the information from these blends between the values from 0 and 1 to the bones. In this particular case, the Meerkat demo doesn't include an animation from the movements of the face or a pose asset that allows us to extract these movements and assign them a curve that allows us to control them. To solve this, we will have to be more creative. 
The transform modify bond can be used uh, to modify the transform property from a specific bond. Let's add one in or an in graph and assign the head as the bond to modify. This will allow us to control and modify the location, rotation and scale of this bond. We don't need location and scale, so I will uncheck this on the expose as pin option. It is important to verify that these pins are ignored too, and rotation must be seen as a add to existing. Now, in order to get additional ARKit blend values uh, in our blueprint, we can use the node called get curve value. We are going to add three of these in the anim graph. The name of the curves that detects head rotation in the ARKit are head jaw, head roll, and head pitch. We will need to offset the value of these curves a bit so that they can rotate the correct value of degrees uh, to the head bone. The values I have heard were prepared in advance, but feel free to try another value if you prefer. The rotation of the head also needs to be somewhat adjusted, so we will connect the head jaw to the pin C, the head roll to the pin Y, and the head pitch to the pin X. But first, we still need one more detail. As mentioned before, if the Meerkat doesn't have a blend shape with the same name as that of AR kit blends, it will not be able to transmit the information. So, if we try to use it at this point, it will not work. To solve this, we only have to add these three curves to the anim blueprint. In the menu bar, select Windows and the anim curves tab. We right click and add a new curve and give it the same name, head jaw. We repeat this with the other two curves. Once done, we compile and we should be able to move your head. If it doesn't move, go to the Lightning Face app on your iPhone and check if the option String Head Rotation is disabled. We can use this same method for the eyes and teeth. In this case, we can rotate the bone of each eyeball or you can create a material that moves the iris of the eye in specific directions. We could work on this now, but it will overextend the scheduled time for this video so we will not review it. But we have a meerkat that can move its head and do facial expression at will, and looks great. Now let's move on to our last step. The meerkat has four blend shapes that allow it to simulate the movement of breathing. Let's do something to enable animation this. The modify curve node allows us to modify the value of a blend shape of one's controlled mesh. Let's add to this node the four curves that simulate the breathing of the meerkat. Breathing chest, breathing neck high, breathing neck low, and breathing stomach. ARKit don't have a sensor that detects when one's breathing, but we can do something that can simulate it. In order to modify the values of these curves, we will add the get real time seconds node, and from here we can obtain the sign of the time in seconds. Mm, I'm going to exaggerate this by multiplying the value by 3. By the way, feel free to try another way to doing this, maybe a map range clamped or another method called works. In this case, I think that with this method I will get something functional and quick to show. And with this, the breathing simulation should be convincing enough. Livelink and Livelink FaceUp are free tools that allow us to democratize the motion capture and animation in Unreal Engine. With this, I hope you can create amazing and funny Meerkat videos. Molly the Meerkat, signing out! Bye!